<laughs> All right. What's going on, boys and girls? It's Beard with Kaplow Entertainment. And today we are live streaming our 10th live stream for Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. Yes, sir. Pretty pumped about matters, got to be honest. 10th, it's kind of a big number. Kind of coincides with, uh, with everything that's going on. I want to take a moment now, if you are watching this on a playback on the channel, I want to thank you for joining me. Thank you for your patronage as a subscriber. You helped me hit the 100 subscriber mark. We are a young channel and still growing, and 100 a big number. And uh, they're all earned subscribers. None of them are sub for subs, and you guys all mean an awful lot to me. I want to thank you guys very much. What's going on, Ultra? How are we doing, Cake DIY? And Mr. Greg, how are we doing, guys? Welcome to the show. Here we go. We're going to get right to her today. You guys probably saw what we're doing. You probably saw the... Uh, the goodness that's happened in there. I'm pretty happy with matters. Happy. Got myself the, uh, got ourselves some Impalas to work on here. I was hoping to jump in and uh, move the shop around a little bit beforehand. I was busy earlier. But, uh, I'm going to move this back here. I was going to give you guys the option on which one to work on. I, I know what I'm voting for. I know exactly what I'm voting for here, guys. As you can see, I got two. I got two Impalas. We got a low rider. Man, is it slam. Check it out. Right down to the ground. Oh, man. It'd be beautiful. However, this here. <laughs> it's the SS409 Street Rod. Got a big old blower on the front of her. A nice big supercharger. So I'm pretty much leaning towards the supercharger, guys, because I really want to put that motor together. But I figured, hey, let's throw them both into the mix here. And uh, maybe we'll have time to do both. We'll have to see how it goes. Pretty pumped about matters, so pretty pumped. So give me one second. I'm just getting my stream all set here, making sure that I'm externally recording as well at the same time. And I'm not sure why this is not quite doing its thing. One sec. I need to tab out. You guys are going to see a whole bunch of nothing for a second. Uh, I had my Discord open, I just realized. And uh, I had a buddy in there, but he was kind enough to bail out so that is not to uh, interrupt the street. That was awfully, awfully cool of him. Thank you, Josiah. If uh, you're with us or you're watching this later, it is much appreciated. All right, let's get to this thing. We're going to uh, we're gonna do it. What do you guys think? Yeah, I'm all for the supercharge, Craig. Absolutely, man. I can't wait. Like As soon as I saw this thing was supercharged, I was like, oh, yeah, this has to happen. It needs to happen right now. So let's get her over to the old lift A and get her rocking. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> she's missing all kinds of goodies. I don't know why this shocks me so much every time I bring something back from the junkyard when it's missing half the motor. I mean, half the engine compartment is bare. It's uh, it's something else. But I'm pumped about this, man. I wanted to do this in Pala a little while back. So I'm thinking she's going to be pretty. I don't think... Uh, well, I guess this is the... The rod additions, so the bigger tires. I just think those mags don't quite go with the look anyways, but we'll get to those later. All right, let's get this off. Let's spin around here and see what we could do. I also happen to have... Now, I didn't pick one up. I was looking for it. I was looking for the tow truck. I downloaded that, and uh, it looks like a whole lot of fun. A big old tow truck. Uh, but I wasn't sure how that would really play out as far as everything lining up. I did notice that uh, on the low rider, you know, the, the drive shaft doesn't line up and such. But, you know, we can still get the feel for it and still get into it. Here we go. Okay, so we got all this off. We'll drop this, pull the motor, and see what the supercharger is all about. No, I have not made it a supercharger. You can find this if you uh, if you download the Impala mod. Um, you download it, and you can actually you have options. You have two options: the low rider or this one that we're working on right now. Everything else, okay, we're good. Let's go grab the hoist here. So uh, you know you can you can definitely do that. It's uh, it's kind of nice that they give you those options. It's a two in one dealio, yo. <laughs> All right, look at this bad boy out of here. 
There we go. Let's create it. Get her on. There we go. Get her on, little doggy. Yes, sir. Oh, look at it. It's going to be huge, man. Like, seriously, look at the outline. It's going to be massive. Okay, we'll leave that there. And uh, we'll just, let's dig into this thing, man. There's, like, nothing in it. There's no pistons. There's not a si Oh, there's one. <laughs> okay, we got to flip this around. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, it's all good, guys. Yeah. Um, Kelly Cat. Kelly Cat. That's right. Some people don't like to use their real names in, in uh, online. But none of this is recorded. It's all good. It's that we lose the chat, which is a bit of a downside because we have some pretty good uh, badger back and forth, I think, on our live streams. And I'd really like to be able to have that, you know, go over for the actual, uh, you know, when people want to watch the restream on it. I think it'd be kind of cool, man. But it is what it is. Okay, so we're going to luck out. I have a whole bunch of these goodies in here already. Yeah, uh, pretty broke. I had to, uh, I did up. Um, I actually sold something. I, I sold, I sold, a, I sold a vehicle. I uh, wasn't too happy about it. Wasn't any that we did. Uh, it's one that I did on just a, a gameplay. But uh, probably going to have to redo it in the future because, you know, I wasn't happy with the paint job anyway. So it's a good enough reason, right? Good, good enough reason. Um, oh, and Ultra, I wanted to thank you, my friend. I wasn't even aware I was entering to win anything. That was quite the nice surprise. Um, I've written the code down. I have it all ready to go here. I haven't had a chance. Uh, I haven't had a whole lot of time to game, to be honest, with the way everything's been going, out looking at work, and so on and so forth. Oh no, we're out of pistons, I need to buy another one. Hold on a second. Uh, but I'll definitely check her out. I have played, I've completed uh, Fallout 3 twice, both on the Xbox, which was kind of cool. Um, what am I after? Pistons. Let me grab a handful of these here real quick. We'll, uh, just that way. Nice round number. We'll grab some of these too. Why not? Uh, but yeah, I very much appreciate it. That was pretty cool. Jeremy Burnett, hello. Welcome to the stream. Nice to have you here. As you can see, we're getting busy with the uh, a beautiful, beautiful car. A supercharged version, I might add too. First time I've done a supercharged. I'm pretty, pretty pumped about it. I can't wait to see what it looks like when we get her all done. I've watched them on other streams. But I've never actually done a supercharger myself, so pretty pretty pumped. I can you tell I'm like a kid in a caddy shop, man. You know, my caddy just happens to be a greasy steel. It's uh, you know, it is what it is. All right, well we're gonna get this all done up here, and uh, then we're gonna when we get the supercharger mounted, we're all gonna take a moment of silence and sit and drool over it. And, uh, no, we're not gonna do that. This dead air is not good. It's just not uh, you know, no one wants to watch dead air. All right, get that out of the way. Two more caps to go here. And we can start buttoning her up. Quality control. Quality control, are we good? Did I did I happen to throw any old parts in there? <laughs> I don't think I did. You guys will be pleased to know I spent some time and uh, sold all my junk and repaired a whole bunch. I couldn't believe how much money I spent on repairing the amount of crap that I had there. Because I have a problem. I like to hoard stuff in this game, it seems. I had so much. And I'm not even going to exaggerate here. Uh, but it probably took me a good half hour to sort through it all. I mean, come on. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm making poor life decisions left and right these days, I tell you. So it's out of the way. And I'll keep it under control. Um, I, yeah. Yeah. I got nothing. I got nothing. I got nothing I can say. It's, it's It was just pure neglect letting it build up like that. You know what? That Cali Cat, that's a good question. That's a good question. They're almost in two different leagues, you know? It depends if you're talking to Celine. And, and, you know, I'd probably still... Well, it depends what Porsche, too. I'm a, I'm a Porsche fan. I do like Porsches. Um, oh, no, no. That was 94%, that one. That almost snuck through. I almost snuck through. Um, but I have a love for Mustangs that uh, I just, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna take a moment here. Yeah, and if it was a Celine to like a Carrera, well, if, you know, a lot of people might call me crazy because Porsches are gorgeous. They're absolutely great cars, but I am 
a Mustang fan. I, I own a Mustang. It uh, needs some work done. That's already looking pretty. Look at that. That's that's fantastic. Uh, and I'd like to do another Mustang. Actually, I found uh, an, an SVT. It's a 94, I think it is. You guys may have seen it before. Okay, let's get back to this. I'm, I'm, I'm losing track here. Losing track of what I'm doing. Ignition coil B. I do not have any. Let me grab some here real quick. Um, okay, ignition coil B, let's grab a few of those, leave a nice even number there, and there we go. Gonna have to do another Mustang all this talk now, you know that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> well, Ultra, now's a really good time to post a link to that video, I don't mind if you throw it up there in the, uh, in the chat, I'd like to check it out myself. Um, if not, you've got me on Steam. You can always shoot me a link there too. Would be good. Okay, I need to. I don't have. Wow, how do we even have a supercharger part? Okay, supercharger water pulley. A supercharger water pump pulley. Let's uh, let's just grab one extra. And you know, while I'm in here, I probably don't have any serpentine belts for it. Uh, I'm gonna buy just a few things while we're here, because you know same time okay let's throw this on so not to get too far off base uh, but yeah I certainly do uh, want to do another Mustang so I'm on the hunt for a real nice mod and I think I have one uh, we might just have to do that on Thursday now if all goes well on Thursday because uh, I am now out of work for a little bit it's not that I've lost work I'm just waiting for the next job to start, so I will have some spare time. I gotta get back up to posting my regular videos. I uh, up until the summer, I posted one per day, so I will get back to that. Uh, I do apologize to any of my regular subscribers that are watching now, or maybe watching on a, on the, the the recast later. Uh, I will do my best to up my video count again. I'd love to do this full time. That would be great, but uh, I'm not there yet. <laughs> it's gonna take me. A couple of years, I would think. So we'll see how that goes. But what I might do on Thursdays after the car mechanic simulator stream, I might jump into Project Cars, Project Cars 2. Um, between that, let's buy some valve push rods here. Um, and I've also been taking a real long look at uh, F1 2017. Uh, for the PC this time, uh, I, I would very, very, very much like to get into that game too. So it seems like a natural progression. I've been doing a whole lot of car stuff lately on the channel, so I might uh, might have to take a peek at that. Come on now, let's get a better angle on this here. There we go, get our push rods all in. Rock her arms now. Oh, was that 100%? I didn't look very closely. Yes, it was. <laughs> it's okay. Quality control, we're good. We're good here. Houston, we don't have a problem. All right. Do -do. Heck, could I stream every day? That's a tall order, man. That's, uh, <laughs> you know, streaming, you know, I prefer, okay, it's funny. I was having this chat with, uh, with Mrs. Beard there. I like to stream and I don't. I like to stream because I like all of the, um, all of all of this, all of the, all the interaction. It, to me, that just is way more fun than pumping out gameplay videos. However, um, it's it's stressful in the sense that, like you know, and it goes wrong. You can't edit. <laughs> so to stream every day, I don't know if I could do it, man. Uh, was it a, a V eight OHV cover? What did they call it? Was it a supercharged? Uh, I didn't look too well. Let me take a quick peek. V eight OHV head cover. A, that's it. No, nothing, uh, nothing fancy. Head cover A, V8 OHV, this one here. Let's grab two of those. And then we're going to need a B. Where is the B? That doesn't look right. That that looks right. Let's grab that because, hey, we're here. <laughs> I appreciate you, older dogs. I might, uh, I might throw a few extra in here and there. Um, if I don't schedule them and people don't know they're coming up, though, they don't tend to do so well. Being a young channel, I, you know, don't just pick viewers up left and right and everywhere. Um, oh, so Greg, you picked up F1 2017. So what, you think it's good? Have, now, have you tried any of the other racing sims? Like, have you tried a Seto Corza 
or Project Cars 1 or 2. Because uh, that's that's kind of what I take my basis off. You know, a set of cores that seems to be the, uh, the most... I would call it the most realistic, but it, it's not the most content. Unless you want to buy all the DLCs. Uh, and and I, I didn't care for the career mode in that. Whereas, if you... Uh, you try like Project Cars, even the first one, which is only 30 bucks on Steam, it is loaded with content and the career mode, it's actually quite satisfying. You know, even starting on the go-karts, uh, it, it really is. It's a whole lot of fun. Project Cars 2, I mean, holy man, 180 cars, over 60 tracks, the, the, the physics, they got the physics right this time. Um, I'm out of rockers, aren't I? Yeah, let's buy some rocker arms. Um, the physics, man, are, are actually, uh, what? I'm sorry, but, um, Rocker? Hello, Rocker? Am I not scrolled? Oh, I was scrolled down. No, that's, that's my own fault there. Let's grab a whole bunch of these. Do, 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 do. 24 sounds like a great old number. Yeah, 100 subs, man, that's not a whole lot, though. I'll tell you, it uh, it took a while to get there from starting from zero, fresh, you know, and, and trying to build up. And I refuse to do sub for subs because then you just don't have, uh, you know, subscribers that are actually into what you're doing. You know, I like to know everybody that's in the channel, and actually, I think I've chit-chatted with quite a few over uh, the last, I guess, three months that have been going, so. Um, oh, yes, okay, so Project Cars 1, yeah, and, and so you can compare it to that. Um, I know we're jumping around a little here. I'm just trying to uh, keep up with what we're chatting about here. Um, Project Cars 1, I thought, was actually pretty well done. But, you know, comparing that to Assetto Corza, if you're going for, like, true-to-form realistic... Uh, I thought Assetto Corza had Project Cars 1. But I did enjoy Project Cars 1. It was pretty good. The VR in it was just insane. Um, but F1 2017 looks fantastic. And I really enjoy running the Formula Cars. Uh, it's a different beast, man. Like, Project Cars 2, you know, you jump in and if you go right to the... the like, I, I've tried all of them now. Just a real quick, you know, zing zing, bada bing type of thing. And, uh... The formula was the hardest to get into. Oh, it's 85%. Come on, man. I gotta go buy one. Okay. Supercharger. Supercharger. There she is. We're only buying one because they're expensive. Very, very expensive. Let's uh, let's get that on there. Oh, yes. The delay. Yeah. No, I appreciate it. I know. I wasn't scrolling up. I'm like, what's going on? It's broken. Something wrong. Something wrong. Oh, this is starting to look pretty. Because it really is. That's just... Mm. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, come on, man. I thought I had a bunch of these goodies. All right. Scoop air filter. We'll grab ourselves just a few of those. Because I plan on doing a few more of these in the future. And we're going to need one of these, so let's just grab it. Grab it like you want it. There it is. Throw on the scoop. <sighs> okay, okay, hold on. Before we take a moment, because I really do want to take a moment, we need to get the belts going here. And uh, there's another one down here. Get B on. Do I have a B? I didn't buy a B. Super time belt B. Time belt B, V8 OHV, B, where are you? Right there. Let's grab a couple of those. And we're good. So if you're, hmm, so you've played F, or you've played Project Cars, and you would say that the F1 is more realistic. Well, now I will say Project Cars 2. Um, is by far and large the, uh, oh, come on. I don't have anything anymore. I got nothing. Um, is the most realistic I've played to date now. 
Uh, you know, the Seto Core is a, still right there in the running. But I think the physics, I think they got the physics a little better this time. So now I'm really pumped to go and try F1, uh, F1 2017 with, uh, with the comments you've made there. I'm going to have to do that. But guys, come on now. Let's take a look at this. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Wow. Like, seriously, with that scoop on top, you can just picture the valves fluttering open. And, oh, okay, let's get this thing going. Let's get her in. We need to get it off the stand before it falls off. Okay, take her off the crate. And uh, before we pop her in here, let's let's get rid of anything else we can up top here. There's the battery. Look at the real estate you have in this old Impala, man. Like, seriously, I could put a bed in here. I could put a double in here. Maybe a queen. All right, let's get this bad boy in. There she is. Oh, I want to turn around. Yeah, look at that. That's awesome. Now I'm curious if the hood has a cutout. Um, did they actually go and, and, and take that step? Um... You're absolutely right. God, oh, yeah, the clips. You got me. Thank you, quality control. Much appreciated. I, uh, I much, much appreciated because that would have drove me nuts. And I, I thank you for not waiting until I'm pretty much done and then telling me because then I would have felt like a dolt. Okay. That looks pretty good, though. Doesn't it? That looks fantastic. Okay, well, we'll put the rest of the front here together. I'm pretty sure I've got all these goodies. I don't think I have a battery. I might have to go and buy myself a battery. And boom, and boom, and boom. Fantastic. Nope, no battery. All right. We'll grab a couple of these. A couple of these. I get a pretty good deal on batteries in real life. My buddy owns uh, Valley Auto, it's called. Uh, where I live. And, uh, fantastic group of mechanics there but he gives me a deal and everything i do all his excavation and he does all my uh all, all my vehicles we got a lot of them man it's ridiculous it's a freaking parking lot outside my house okay look at that the way the exhaust coming out right off the side i like that a lot <laughs> yeah wow that's beautiful okay we're gonna dig into her here Start doing the front end. Make it all nice and pretty like. Yeah, so I'll try. I must apologize. I did not realize, and I'm sorry, um, that I, I didn't realize that you, you did a channel as well. I'm definitely going to go check that out as soon as I am done streaming. Because I don't think I have subscribed to you. And I would absolutely love to. So I will do that as soon as I am done here. Uh, for those of you watching the restream... Uh, I would like to throw out there, Alter Dog's cousin, he's a, uh, val or, uh, I don't want to say valid, because you're all valid, but a uh, faithful viewer, he's here every stream, has been for the last number of weeks, please go and check his channel out, and uh, in fact, Ultra, when I'm done here, once we're all done this, and I repost it, I will put a link in the description to your channel. And hopefully, some of uh, my fantastic subscribers will go and check your stuff out. We got a pretty good crew. I got to admit, you know, we've got a lot of, a lot of different types of. Uh, a lot of our subscribers actually um, are YouTubers as well. We all like to support each other. Um, you know, it's such. A, it's hard making content some days. You know, some days you get like, like writer's block, but you know, content block. <laughs> oh well, but it is what it is. All right, we're tearing through this bad boy. Let's get the rest of this off. Guts out of the way. See, sway bar. We can sway out of the way. We'll get off our tie rod. Forgot about the outer. Yoink. Hell on the steering rack. Look at that. It was down to 15%. They're not cheap, man. They're like 500 bucks in this game. I mean, they're not a, not a low ticket item here. Let's get that. Bearing and the hub. There we go. It's a beautiful thing. Get that out of the way. And here we go. 
Uh, Ultra, that's something we can definitely talk about. Uh, probably not during the stream, but, um, you know, through Steam or something, if that's something we decide to do. But uh, we'll, we'll chit-chat a little bit about that later if you're interested. Okay. Is it wrong? Is it wrong that as everything comes out, it's it's like, it's... I need a new direction. This is actually kind of exciting. Like, look at that. I just love it. Here, let's get rid of the exhaust pipes. Get rid of uh, get rid of the whole exhaust here while we're at it. Because it's, it's, it's ugly. It's just not pretty. It's got to be pretty. Yeah. Okay. I got to stop drooling over this engine and just keep going. I can literally stop and stare at that supercharger, man. It's just so pretty. Oh, I'm out of bushings. Well... Grab a whole heap load. S grab ourselves a heap load. We're gonna just grab a bunch. Cause it's happening. I'll grab some small ones too. I don't go through those as often. Um, so we'll just grab a dozen there, but get them out of the way. There we go. Alright. Oh, and a front sway bar. Okay. For those of you that know me, I hate going in and buying all this stuff in the middle of a stream. I like to go and try and buy this stuff beforehand. But, you know, prior to about an hour before the stream, uh, I was down at, like, phew, below 20k. It was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. Just grabbing a few things while we're here. Uh, I didn't see if those were B's or C's or A's. It looked like a C. I'm going to grab a couple because I don't think I have any. But I might. No, I might. Okay, that's probably why I have no money. I'm forever... Oh, I didn't... Ha-ha! I didn't, uh... I think I had a steamy rack there. But I do spend money in this game. I mean, hey, as fast as you can make it. And again, one of my friends says to me, he says, Beard, go and, uh... Go and do that, uh... Hold on one second. I'm having technical difficulties here. Buena momento, por favor. Um... Okay, not sure what's going on. There we go. Trying to get things sorted. <sighs> Much better. Okay. Um, and totally squirreled. Totally squirreled. I was gonna say something that wasn't overly important, but you know, you know. All right, there we go. That's right. My buddy says to me. He says, "Well, beer. Why don't you just..." cheat the money. I said, no, I can't do it. I just can't do it. He's telling me how to do it. Well, you just go and you get this. Again. No, no, can't do it. Thought I might have. Oh, I do actually I already have some double wishbone. What? I have one at 100%. What? Okay. <laughs> On you go then. That that saves time. Kind of nice. But I, you know, and, and I don't condemn anybody for doing it because I guess it's kind of one of those things. It's kind of like 2015. Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. You could do uh, like like a free mode, you know, and and if people just want to go and do restorations, well, it's kind of what you have to do. Did I get all those bushings? I got the one in the back. I did not get the one in the back. There it is. That's what I got. Uh, I was in the middle of doing when I realized I didn't have any. And uh, so you know, I, I kind of struggle with that, but I'm not going to do it. I'm just not. I refuse. I refuse. But as I said, you know, I don't condemn those that do. So if anybody who's watching this has, I'm not calling you a bad person. You're a bad person. I'm not. No, I'm really not. <laughs> I'm just playing. Uh, because it's it, it kind of makes the game a little more accessible. And so, I, you know, I kind of considered it, but I just won't do it. it. It forces me to get my grind on. It gets me out there and, you know, I do the odd restoration on the side. Just uh, using up parts that I have. Because, you know, if you want to make money, you can just go and... Uh, oh, what's happening here? I don't have any brakes. You can just go and do a restoration, but not actually use all brand new parts. You still make a pretty good clip. Um, if you're short of money because you like to spend, stock up on all the good, get the Ferrari mod, find one in the JY and restore it, and then sell it. It's worth a couple What? Really? Well, that's good to know. I've never seen a Ferrari mod. Um, yeah, at all, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I don't think I've come across any Ferraris. I would scoop that up on a heartbeat. Um, mind you, I haven't dug too deep in uh, in the Steam 
mod discussion, and I probably should, but it's just because every time I go there, I find something I want to do, and I, <laughs> and I just kind of carry on to the next, right? So, but I, yeah, that's that's a great idea. Did, did I get? I didn't get the berry. I was wondering why I wasn't getting my hubcap and whatnot. There we go. She's looking good. She's looking pretty. She's looking all kinds of pretty. All right. We'll get the rest of the front end put together. Then we'll go tackle the back end here. And then, uh, I don't know if there's any livery or what with this. No, I know I don't have that. That was my bad. I shouldn't be doing that. I shouldn't even try doing that. Okay, so I will run back and get that uh, going right now. Let's get the springs all together. I have a sticky mute button. I've been hitting the mute to cover the coughs, and uh, it didn't come back on there. I apologize for the flat air. Okay, moving along. No, that's 89%. Go back. Go back. Dang it all. And I did it again. Holy cow. Okay. <laughs> okay, do I not have springs? Is that the problem? I don't have any front springs. Okay. Front springs. Yeah, the mute was on, and I do apologize. I know I'm seeing this after the fact. For when I say this, there's like a good uh, 15, 20 second delay, unfortunately. Uh, you know, I just I hit the mute so I don't cough in your ears. I've still got a little bit of a cough hanging on. And uh, trying to be thoughtful guy, but uh, just end up being dumb guy. Some dumb guy just hitting buttons and forgetting to push them properly again. Okay, we'll wait for that. Ooh, ooh, let's just take that off while we're here. <laughs> I like to be productive in my off time. All right, let's take this off. And back to it. We would have put it in like so. Fantastic, fantastic. I think that's the whole front end. Did I get the bushings here? Did I get the bushing there? Uh, all my sway bars, knuckles, everything's good, everything's good. Hold on, you know what? I am thinking that I must have missed. I did the bearing, there it is. And put on some new goodies. All kinds of new goodies today. K3 Rambo, okay, okay, I've seen him, so I don't know how I've missed that Ferrari. I will take a peek at that. I will, uh, I'll pick that up. You know, I would love to do a Ferrari. First exotic car we did was that McLaren. Had a whole lot of fun with that. That was a lot of fun, and uh, anyone watching now that hasn't seen it, you should go check it out. I had a great time putting that car together. It was absolutely gorgeous. And so, moving on from there, I mean, if there's a Ferrari, it just seems natural that we move right into that. And there's the front end, all nice and shiny and new. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Okay, to the rust bucket at the back. Let's go, let's go. There we go. Start with the tires. Because it's a thing. It, 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 it is a thing. Let's get this off here. Break drums. Toss them in the garbage. Shoes. We don't need no stinking shoes. Drum cylinders. We don't need any of these goodies. Just get out of here. Just give me a torch. Let's just cut it all off and start fresh. That's what I think we need to do. But it's not really an option. Not a whole lot to it. All the old cars, you know, the rear ends. Not a lot to them. This whole thing is... Uh, one big rust heat. Nothing over 32% so far. 27. Ooh. Gonna make a lighter out of me. These look a little fresher. Oh, 28. Nope, nope, not at all. You can almost have like uh <laughs> You can almost have a bit of a drinking game, but we won't get into that. That's for a late night stream. 
on for uh, regular regular week stream. People of all ages watching this. Let's see here. Get rid of those shoes. Get rid of that cylinder. Come on, get rid of that axle. Jeez. Been here, been here, done this before. It's looking a little familiar. Almost like we just did this. Maybe on the other side. Okay, let's get the bushy now. And we've got to get them there, you bolts. Oh, nasty, you bolts. You know, nothing's this easy in real life, let me tell you. <laughs> it really isn't. Okay, beautiful. And did I really jump all the way over here without taking off the rest of that? I did, I absolutely did. I'm a terrible person. Okay, and let's get our cap and spring. Get that spring, get it some. And our other cap. Okay, we're looking good. And that fuel pump is toast. Do it to it. Oh, we got one. That saves me a few bucks right on. That makes me a happy, happy camper. Now I am kind of watching my money now. I got to admit, I've been watching it. But uh, apparently if I do that, uh, that Ferrari mod, I won't have to worry about money again because that's pretty good. Yes, I should shout out the mod makers. You're absolutely correct. Uh, I have a, a, a bad case of uh, rushing through these things sometimes and not being prepared is really what it comes down to. I don't have the mod developer's name for this. He's made a fantastic mod here and I'm quite impressed with it. Uh, I certainly will. Um, we've done that on a few of them now and I thank you for the friendly reminder because you're absolutely right. Uh, I like to give props to the people that spend their time to make our gaming experience better because really they don't have to they're not getting paid they're doing it for love of the game and a love of community and uh those are just the best kind of people you want to keep around you i'm telling you they're good peeps good peeps so um if one of my fine quality control happened to be in there if you want to jump on in take a peek and uh, give me the name i would love to give him a shout out steven welcome to the stream welcome back my friend how are you oh we need some rear shock absorber caps uh you've missed most of the build but she's coming along and you'll be able to see what we're doing here she's almost there she is almost there but i'm thinking we might just have to do another one here um because we've got options here today we got the same car the absolute same car, just a different mod of it. And you can kind of see it if you peek past that tire sitting down in the corner over there. Look at it. She slammed. It looks good. It really, really does. Kind of pumped. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know what, Ultra? I agree, man. I, I, I'm the same way. And I, I make it a point. I like to always give a shout out to... Uh, for, you know the mods and any mod developers anyone who's who's helping us out here but uh, I totally pooped the bed on this one today I, I didn't write the name down or nothing so I will definitely uh, definitely throw that down there Goliwog is the mod developer for this mod thank you very much Greg I really appreciate that uh, I'd like to take a second and thank Goliwog for taking the time to put together these fantastic mods these are uh, by far some of the better ones that we've done, uh, everything's lining up on this guy here. It looks fantastic. Uh, thank you for your efforts. And uh, look forward to what else you have coming up. I keep a close watch on there. On that, that everything that's pinned, that's, uh, that's what catches my attention. Oops, I meant to do that one. Everything that's pinned on that page. and uh, This was pinned right off the top. And, uh, it seems to be all the good ones are right there. Right there, ready to go. So, uh, again, Gollywog, thank you very much. Uh, it's fantastic. I, I greatly appreciate it. Okay, let's see. Are we lucky enough to not have a fuel tank? Okay, I'll go spend a few more bucks. Because, hey, why not? Why not? Fuel tank. We're going to buy two. And I don't think I have any fuel pumps. Let's just buy those. And, uh, yeah, we should be good now. Let's pump that in. Boom. Fuel pump, boom, and uh, we're looking pretty good. We are looking good. We just need to finish putting together this one side, get the brake shoe on and drum, and we're golden. Okay, let's take a step back here now. 
We're gonna drop this down since we've done everything underneath her. Let's bring the welder over and make it a little prettier so we can see exactly what we're dealing with here. Okay. I almost want to put a bet out there uh, what color it's going to be, but BAM! And I would have lost. That's fantastic. Look at that. Look at that. I, uh, well, let's get the doors off here. I should have taken all this off right off the get-go. And uh, Oh, no back window. It's gone. Alright. Anything else back here I can take? I don't think so. I think I got all that. There is no back window. Get all these goodies off of here. Uh, and was it true to form? Did I see that right? Maybe there's an option to put it on, but I did not see a right hand mirror. And you know, that's uh, that's the way it is. You know, all the old cars back in the day, it was a luxury to have the right hand mirror. It was not, um, you know, a mandatory item. That looks fantastic. Doesn't it? That looks great. I'd love to see this in the big old convertible. Nice big old soft top on her. But that looks great. I'm a fan of Impalas. Uh, my uncle used to own one, actually. So I rode him one quite a bit when I was a kid. Oh, before we get too carried away, I need to disassemble the interior. Let's get that steering wheel out of here. Okay, right on. So, I guess I'll head into the body shop now. Uh, let's hit the right menu. Now that we pushed the wrong menu, congratulations. It's good practice. Let's hit the correct menu. Okay. Impala, what do you got for me? Okay, so there is two versions, or no, is it all the same? I see the SS409, then there's the street rod. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll put that in, we'll put Impala, SS409, street. And that should bring me up all my goodies. And we'll just go ahead, oh, 1350, oh, these are expensive parts. We'll just go ahead and uh, spend a fortune. But it's well worth it when it's all done, you know. Holy. This is... Whoa, man. Them headlights. That's $2,000 for those headlights. God. Which did I just buy there? That kind of glitched on me. Left side mirror. Uh, I think I got it. I think. We're going to find out the hard way. And then, uh, no, we got the left headlights. Wait, did I buy the right ones? Hold on, hold on. Let's just find out. Let's start putting her together and let's see what happens here. I mean, you bought the wrong goodies. I did buy the wrong goodies. It's okay, because they'll be used on the other rod, which is fine. And I didn't buy all the wrong goodies, just a few of them, it seems. I am real pumped for the Jeep DLC. I, uh, yeah. I wasn't going to bring that up. <laughs> I really wasn't. I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, actually, I don't even have the release date yet, funny enough. And normally, I keep on top of that stuff. Um, I only just saw it, though. So, that that's pretty exciting. Okay, let's, let's make some room here. Um, let's just back to where you go. See ya. Be gone with you. Okay. And then we'll see whatever it is that we need. Whatever I've missed here. Okay. That's good. Back window. So I don't have a trunk. I do have the bumper and taillights. Yes. No. Taillight. Yes. Yes. So I need a right taillight. I need the trunk. And I need my headlights. That's it. Whoops. I believe... Uh, we need the right tail light. 49th Street rod, left trunk, tail light. We need the right trunk tail light. Street rod, right trunk tail light. Okay. And we need the trunk. Um, it should be staring me right in the face. Why can I not scroll down? Is there no down to go? There's no down to go. Uh, where, oh, where? Oh, it's right in the corner. Right where you would think it would be. Oh, and I didn't grab the, the headlights. So, we need the uh, left headlight. Bam. And the right headlight. <laughs> oh, this writing. Right headlight. There we go. 
and I'm playing on the other monitor right now, which is kind of throwing me for a loop. It's a little smaller writing. I think I'm just getting old. So there's no hood. Is that correct? There's no hood. Let's uh, try one more time. No hood. I'm glad they left the hood off. I am. Uh, there was one that I saw, and I think it was, I think it was Diesel that did it. I think it might have been uh, my boy Diesel there. He uh, he did a it wasn't a stream. Did I not just buy the right tail light? Did I buy the wrong one? No, 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 no. I bought the trunk. Okay, so I bought the trunk tail lights. I didn't buy the right tail light. Okay, hold on, hold on. Where's the right tail light? There it is. I like the little detail there. I like we have those options. All the little extras. That looks great. Oh, man. Okay, guys. Now, obviously with the low rider. Haha. <laughs> yeah, see, now that's more the tires I was thinking. But this is all about the strip. This is all about the drag. So let's keep that in mind. And let's go take a look here now. Let's see if we can find some pretty old rims to stick on this bad boy. Obviously, it's got to be something retro. It's got to be a little bit of retro action. But it's got to look. It's got to look mean. It's got to look mean. All right, Steven, you missed out on this last stream. You guys were having some uh, issues with electricians. So today, my friend, it is your call. You get the pick on which mags you think we should go with. What rims tickle your fancy? Uh, I'm not even sure what I would be choosing, to be honest. It, it's, you know, it's it's almost, almost something. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, see, we dropped a user. Is Steven still here with us? Is he here? Is he here? I believe he should be. I didn't see. I'm trying to look through. I would like to give him the choice because he was supposed to pick the ones that we were doing on our last stream and you guys had some issues I get it you guys uh, unfortunately had the disconnect and we went ahead and picked some um, they say this just totally fits on the front but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, we absolutely do need big old fatties on the back and skinnies on the front. Absolutely. But it's what rim do we want to go with? You like the spokes. Now, that's for the low rider. But what do you think about this? This is the drag car. So, you know, difference between the drag car and the low rider. I mean, it is a different look. But it, I, I still think it's got to be something a little more solid looking. Um, I do like the spokes, though. I, I, the spokes, you know. But either way, fatties on the back. You like the rim retro, do you, Cali Cat? Oh, you know, they are they are pretty. That is a I've never used that one. And it is a good looking one. Um, well there it is. So we were letting Steven take the pick. We're going with Retro 12. Okay. And do we want those on fronts and backs? I think we do. I think we do. Okay, so for the front, um, we don't want to go too too small, because this is a big car. So maybe some 19s, make them skinny, uh, make them all kinds of skinny, and uh, oh, or retro 10s, retro 10 for the back, 12s for the front, 10s for the back, yeah, 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 I could see that, that could look good, or do we do 10s all the way around? That's a tough call, and it's even tougher waiting for the delay to catch up as I sit here. <laughs> I hate using that delay, you know, but it's all about the playback for everyone else watching. So uh, definitely want some of these. That, that'll look great. Those will go in the back. We're going to get some uh, some big old meats on there. Now, we want the 17s in the front. If we go with some 22s on the back and just get some real big rubber, that might uh, that might look good. Oh, retro 10s all the way around? All the way around, retro 10s. All right, yes, sir. Okay, so we will put two of those in the front with 17s. Okay, so we got uh, 22s and 20 and 22s and 17s, I believe, we bought. 
And now we will take a look. Did, is that what I did? Did I do that? Is that exactly what I did? Let's take a look. Go into the dreaded inventory and watch it freeze up for a second here. What did I buy? What did I buy? Let's look at uh, rims. Rimmies. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Okay, so I did buy two 17s. I bought two 22s. Just making sure. Just making sure. Let's uh, let's get rid of these old ones here. Because I don't need to hold on to this, even though they're new. Uh, I, you know me. I'm just going to go and buy them when we're at them. So, and I'll get rid of these. Although I could have maybe kept those for the other one. It doesn't matter. It's all good. All right. So, now we need to get some rubbers for these bad boys. So... Well, we know we're going with the slicks in the back, but I kind of want to have the writing on the sides. Um, um, maybe we shouldn't do the slicks. Maybe we should just do really big, beefy white walls. <laughs> you know what, Stephen? It is a bad delay. Uh, that's by my choice. I have options when I set the stream up. Uh, and what I tend to do is I set it for... Uh, the highest latency, that way it has the best recording, right? So, it, it makes a big difference. It's a big, big old difference. Uh, I bought 22s for the back ultra, uh, just because I didn't want to have it too big, but I, you're probably right. I maybe should have, but let's see how this looks. I can always change them. So, we got to go with the slicks, and we got to go with these here. And I'll put those up to 22s. Those are the back tire, and we're going to bump these up, make them nice and fat. And uh, I think that that is pretty good. $5,200. It better be good. Dang. Okay. And then for the fronts, the fronts are just going to get a racing tire right here. And we had uh, 17s, two of them, nice and skinny. Bam. Let's put them together and see how it looks. Okay, so the 22s get a nice big old fat tire going. That looks good. That looks good. Probably could have went with a little more rake. I mean, you're right. Ultra, you're probably right. Um, 24s would, would look good, but 22s are... Uh, yeah, Greg, you're, I agree with you, man. They are plenty big. Um, sometimes, you know, going all out isn't it doesn't always look as good like i feel like our camaro we put too big of tires on the back when we did our camaro if we had it went down maybe just uh, maybe the 22s i don't know but sometimes you need those big tires <laughs> you know um i should be doing my balance while i'm throwing those on look at that thing <laughs> love the shape these things come in and so I have to say this now, uh, we were doing that McLaren, and uh, a good friend of mine today, we were chatting in Discord, and he says to me, he says, I have to ask, he says, yeah, he goes, you picked that thing up from the junkyard, I said, yeah, he says, it was a 2016, why was it so beat up, <laughs> why did it need so much of a restoration, if it was only a 2016, and damn it if he wasn't right. <laughs> You know, it's it's just, oh man, it's kind of funny when you think about it. That brand new McLaren, and in 2016, is only a year old, and it came in looking like that. You know, what do you do to a car to make it look like that, especially an exotic car? But we don't question it. We were just glad to work on one. <laughs> okay, and uh, we're going to go ahead and set this one to spin and go and start putting some tires on here. Let's throw this on. Make sure we're putting on the 22s in the back. And that should look plenty big compared to these 17s on the front. Let's see. Now, if we don't like it, we can always go and change it. But I think, I think this is all kinds of pretty right here. Oh, yeah, that's going to look real bad. All right, one more to go. Which tire? I think it was. Uh, tell me. Oh no, it was the 17. Let's put that on the front. Get that in here. Let's not zoom in so much because, you know, kind of ruins the effect. There we be. Slam that home there. 
Yeah. <laughs> Ultra Dog and Cali Cat, I think you guys are on it. We'll go crazy with the lowrider. We gotta we gotta take that one to extremes and she needs like real big tires with thin meats. Um, cause it's slammed, man. It's gonna look great. I like nice big, big fat tires on there. Always like the 21 inch tires on a low rider, but I mean, that's more practical because anything bigger, most, most don't have the wheel well size, but that's going to look fantastic. So there we go. There she is. Guys, look at that. We're going to get a better look at her in just a second, but I want to just take a peek at that other side because I want a screenshot. Cha-ching. <laughs> All right. So let's put this bad boy to the paint shop and see what we can do with it. I don't think there's any liveries or anything for this. I'd be surprised if there was, but you know we can certainly make a real nice paint job. A real nice one. This oh, 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 oh. Look at the rake on that, man. And we just accented that so much more by putting the 17 on the front. Like, look at that. That is seriously bad, man. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look here. Okay, so let's see. We've got a really nice green, a pink chameleon, or a nice blue. Yeah, I still need the interior. I'll go and get that done. Um, this is gonna have uh, a real nice. It's gonna have. It's gotta have a real nice, real nice. Like, oh, an impella top. Over oh, there. Where? I, I couldn't quite see what it was. Okay, okay. So it's the the pin striping and uh, and all the the detail around here. That's pretty cool. Um, I, I I think I think I have to agree though. Um, this this particular car, it's loud. It's uh, it's one of those cars we can get away with, you know, not an obnoxious color, but. Like, look what we can do with that. Look at the, the difference in tones we can get out of that there. Like, that's pretty. I think it needs, like, a bright... Hmm. Hmm. Right, maybe. I, I, you guys, I have to be honest. I think I like that green. Um... They, oh yeah, look at all that. Look at the detailing on there. The Impala detail. That's pretty cool. The gold does look pretty good too. Yeah, you know what, Steven, you're right. Um, and the teal. You know what, Callie? Callie, we're going to give this one to you. You haven't had a, you haven't been able to make a call on anything just yet. I think teal, I think uh, close to a teal might look pretty nice. Something like that. Something like that, perhaps. Let's see, nice and bright. Let's paint it and see what it looks like. Let's see. I think the green looks really good though too. I thought the green was sharp, but that that accents the chrome. Like that that looks pretty mean, man. What do you guys all think? What do you think? What do you think? I I gotta be honest. I really like that. I think that is sharp. Man, that interior needs a detail. And it needs a steering wheel. And it needs a whole interior. But look at that. If everybody's okay with that, I think we found our color for this one here. Um, I think that suits it. You know, I, I was kind of leaning towards the green, but, you know, that's kind of a compromise between the green and the blue. Um, that is, that, that is fantastic. Okay, guys. Yep, Steven, you're in agreement. There we go, Cali Cat. I hope you like that. That is uh, that one's for you, my dear. That's fantastic. Look at that. We're gonna move that one out to. Let's put it in the garage entrance and go and take a look. How does she look? How does she look? See the difference you get now when you come out here. Um, oh, look the, the Impala. Oh, what? Okay. Um, I don't like that livery. I don't like it one bit. Back to the paint shop. And I think we want to try and capture that that uh, that teal a little more. I think we're just up a little. Because, you know, I mean, we've talked about this before in the live streams. Like, look at the difference in here compared to out there. So, okay, first off, let's get rid of that. We don't want that livery. We want none. We want that as chameleon and... 
how can we get this? Let's see. Almost a bluey green, that kind of teal. Right about there. With chameleon, or maybe we'll do this with a pearl. The pearl's going to bring up the color more, I think. Bam! Okay. Yeah, he's got the template on there from uh, from when he was doing the mod development. That's okay. You know what? He's done a fantastic job. I'm not going to knock it one bit. I think that is great. Let's see. Now, how did that come out? There we go. There we go. What do you think, boys and girls? Does that mean the seal of approval or what? Look at that. Oh, oh, man. Okay. So, what do we have? I mean, I always just really, really want to... Um, put a chain wheel in. I don't know why. I can't help it. I have a problem. Okay, let's go back to normal. Let's go to the shop. And we need to get into interiors. Oh, it's just a template so you can make your own. Okay, I thought that was a template uh, that the mod developers used to make a live arena. It was just left in there. Okay, okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Now... I think with that color, I, I almost kind of want to see like a beige interior. I, I almost think that that would look good. Um, a gray interior would look real nice though. Gray would look very, very, very pretty. Very pretty. And uh, of course, there's a two-tone. Oh, that's a tough one. I wonder if uh, Impala has their own. Let's see. No, and Paula does not. Okay. That's okay. We'll just go like that. Uh, chain wheel and buckets. Well, well, I think you're uh, you're onto it. I do believe. I do believe. Well, we need a nice big old back seat here. So we need to figure out what color we're going to get. So let's go and grab the wheel. We'll run down here rather than type it in. Because that just... This, the chain wheel just makes it. I'm going to buy another one because I think it's coming up here pretty soon too. Uh, and then for the seats. Now, I, I gotta be honest. I think the cream color is gonna work really well with this. Um, like, I really, really, really do. You know, seat nine, this one here, I think, the seat nine leather seat would look real good. Um, mm, I like a little headrest, but it's gotta fit that old style. So I, I'm, I'm going to take the high road here if no one's going to object. But uh, I, I think that's, that's kind of where she needs to be. And I think we need some uh, matching rears to, uh, to go with that um, right there uh, from the Magnum. Let's see how that looks. And if we don't like it, we can always get rid of it. But uh, I think that is going to look pretty fantastic, to be honest. Just wait till we see with it all in. Isn't there a back seat? I thought there was a back seat. Where's the back seat? There's no back seat. Because it's a drag car. That makes sense. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Is that... Uh, man, it doesn't look as good as I thought it would. Now I'm thinking gray. Now I'm thinking gray. Doesn't look too bad, though. I do like it. I, it's nice to have that contrast um, with them. You guys talk amongst yourselves here and let me know if you think that's okay with those seats. I'm pretty happy with that. I really thought there was going to be a back seat, but it makes sense that there's not um, just because it is a drag car. So, and there's that steering wheel. Oh, yeah, baby. Actually, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness, you know what I didn't do? <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, well. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, you know, Callie, you might be on it. Um, black, black because it's a bright car. Black does look good with lighter paint jobs, yes. Um, it's, uh, but you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I think of that. 
it, because it's a light color, those those typically do work. Um, I'm just I'm on the fence with it. What have I missed? Uh oh. She knows starty starty. What have I missed? I've got oil in there. Uh, let's see. Car status. Got to do the interior, obviously. Um, everything is in. Oh, front window. Ha ha ha! Let's get rid of that. Don't know how that happened. There we go. Um, that's funny. Why wouldn't she start? So car status, everything looks good, except for the interior, it needs to be done. Um, oh, you know what I haven't done? Something else I haven't done. I'm really getting carried away here. Holy cow. Let's just move this over here and, uh, you know, yeah. well, the starter, because, uh, I haven't put the gearbox back in. <laughs> That's why the starter's not working. There's nothing about the starter, too. Holy cow. See, I got so excited, man. All right. Well, let's... I don't know what happened, but that other mechanic, he's fired. He's fired. You gotta, if you want it done right, you got to do it yourself or pay someone else who knows what they're doing. All right. Well, it is what it is. We've, we've had worse. Okay. Let's put her all together here. And, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, I must have repaired these trannies. I was going to say, I don't even bought anymore. I don't really buy them one at a time, but there we go. There we go. And we'll pump, plump that on there and get that starter on, and she'll be good to go. I know. Oh, dope, dope, dope. Buy a starter. That was 88%. Let's go ahead here. Grab ourselves. V8 starter. Let's grab two of those. Beautiful, beautiful. Now she'll start. Now she'll do it. Holy cow. Talk about getting ahead of myself. That damn other mechanic, I tell you. All right, so let's move it back to the front entrance here. And, uh, oh man. Come on, you're going to do it for me now. Okay, we're going to clean the interior, and uh, I think we're going to take this one for a test drive. It, it needs to happen. It really needs to happen. Oh, I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence, because I'm kind of thinking. i got a little bit of time. I might just uh, quickly pump out this other lowrider right now and uh, call it Impala Day, you know? Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. Okay, let's go ahead and use this. Yep. And now... Look at that. Why are we 98%? I probably shouldn't look. Um, well, that's as close to 100 as we're going to get, apparently. Why are the piston rings not... Sh okay, well... The plates! There you go! Ah, quality control coming to the rescue, I tell you. There's, uh, oh, I don't, I don't see a plate. No, there does not appear to be a plate back here. No, maybe there's one on the front. No, no plates. I guess because it's a drag car. What about this bad boy? Does this have plates? Maybe if the bumper's on, it might. Yeah, there's a plate back there. Interesting. I guess because it's not street legal. No plates. That is just gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. I got to say, because it's supercharged, that, that, that might just very well be one of my new favorites. Look at that. There's a screenshot. Okay. Yeah, no, I can't get a plate on here. It uh, doesn't want to let me. There's no... No options for a plate. No ma'am, no way, no how. 
Well, I'm not too fussed. That's pretty good, man. That That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So what time are we at here? We've been going an hour. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not in a big rush today. I, uh, I'm off. <laughs> I'm off tomorrow. So we might as well. Let's dig into her. If you guys got the time, I got the place. I got the shop. Let's get this going. <laughs> you know what? We're just going to right away because I don't want to stare at this old rust bucket anymore. Let's just move this over and zap her right now. Let's weld her up, make her look pretty. Okay, guys, what do you figure? What color? What do you think? What do you think? The last one was like a, a kind of a, a pinky kind of flesh kind of color. What do you think? Come on, now what I want to do it, I want to see what you guys think. I think we're going to have, I think it's going to be a blue. I say blue. Oh, I wasn't even close. Holy cow. And that actually looks really good. Yeah, I wasn't even close. Jeez. <laughs> well, it is what it is. Okay, so there's nothing else in the front. Let's go ahead and take out. We'll just strip everything as we come across it here real quick. No battery. No battery. All right. Let's get the rest of the body off it here. Uh, did I get the front window? Front window's gone already. Get the rear window. Let's just pull her all apart. Come on. Get out of there. There we go. Get that old rusty piece of junk bumper off the back. There we go. All right. She's already looking better. There we go. And let's disassemble the interior. And there we go. The dark seats with the bright car. As you guys were mentioned earlier, i got to get around to that side to grab it. And uh, let's just get into it. Hold on. <laughs> I'm in her. Get out. Will it start? No, there's nothing there to start it. No. Okay, let's disassemble that. Oh, the batteries are in the back of this bad boy. I guess we're going to have to... Uh, can I get it from up here? Yeah, right in the trunk, right there. No, I obviously cannot... There we go. Let's take them out like a cell. Perfect. All right. And we'll get rid of this. Okay. You're absolutely right, Kelly. This is, they're both Impalas, but this is a low rider. So a little bit different, profile's different. We'll be doing different tires and whatnot. It won't have a big rake. It's gonna sit flat to the ground. Whereas this was the drag car. You see, it already had a rake. It wouldn't have mattered what tires I put on here. That would have still had a rake, so it would have leaned on the front end. It would have been lower there and higher on the back. But uh, this one here, what do you see how this looks at the end? This is gonna look, it's gonna look great. I can't wait. All right, so we'll uh, pull this out here. Just get that drive shaft real quick if I can reach it. There we go with my super rubber stretchy arms. And uh, we're going to stick our head right into the vehicle here because we can do that. All right. And we'll pop this bad boy off and get the clutch. Everything right out of the way. No messing around here. It's got to go. There we go. Get rid of that. Gone. And gone. I forgot the leaf spring plate on the drag car. What? Did I? Hold on. <laughs> Let's take a look, see. Quality control, I don't doubt you. This is why uh, you guys are quality control. I'm just a menial worker here. You look at the way it leveled out when it lifted it up. That was awesome. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh. Oh, jeez. How did you see that? Did you go back and look? Were you actually really doing the quality control? Because I tipped my hat. That was, uh, that was like an hour ago we did that. <laughs> Good man. Thank you very, very much. All right, well, we'll pump that all back together. It was that other mechanic again. Get rid of that guy already. Jeez, he causes you all kinds of grief, Beard. Okay, that's down. And uh, look at her, look at her. See, now it doesn't go all the way down, so you can't see it settle into the rake. But we'll, uh, we'll move this over to garage entrance A. Bam! There she be. 
Okay, back to it. Uh, and uh, we got the clutch and everything all off. Starter is off. She is ready to come out. Now, this one will be a little quicker. We should be able to fly through it pretty fast. Uh, no supercharge or anything on it this time. Oh, no, you really don't need to go to shop entrance A, but hey, why not? Uh, I need you to car lifter A. That's where we're going. And you can pull that motor. Gorbachev off. Pull that motor out. We'll add it into a crate. And there we go. As ugly as it is, there it is. Well, there's a little more to the guts of this one. At least we have some pistons that do me absolutely no good and I'm going to have to get rid of. So, that is what it is. And uh, let's see here. Oh, well, let's see. I need to take off all kinds of goodies. We need to start with the belts, work our way in. Dig right into this old rust bucket. But, you know. Oh, you caught a glimpse of it. Well, good man. I, I very much appreciate it. You know what I'm like? I don't like to leave things like that. It drives me absolutely nutty. Get the time to cover off. Take that alternator too long right here. Big old blocky thing sitting right in my way. And we'll get the camshaft gear off. Uh, I need to flip this thing around, actually. I don't think I can do it quite from here. I guess it depends what's in her. <laughs> Look at that. How do you like that? We're going to enter it for no particular reason. Okay, let me uh, just get what I can on this view. And then we're going to flip this. Flip that motel. All right, what do we got here? We got a push rod holding us back. One measly little push rod. Oop, stopping the whole show. The nerve. Well, we'll get the pistons out while we're here. Other side. Okay, there's a little more over here. Oh, we have a rocker. We do have a rocker that made it. That's amazing. <laughs> Come on, get off. There we go. All right. Yeah, if I had taken her out for a test drive, it would have given me heck. I, I do kind of want to take her for a drive. I want to see how much oomph that bad boy's got and see what, see what it'll do there. All right. Now we can get the crankshaft out. And, of course, the camshaft. Get rid of the block. I do have another block. I came prepared, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Let's get everything else on here before we flip it over. Might as well throw everything within reach. Beautiful. Oh no, it's not happening. I need an alternator. I was getting excited. I thought it was going to be just a bam. We got all kinds of goodies. That's okay. We have the ability to buy more. And there it is. Okay, so well, we can stick the crankshaft and uh, the camshaft both in. I don't have a camshaft. Bam. Let's just grab a couple. A couple hundred bucks. It's not bad. That's not bad. Did I not just buy a camshaft? Tell me I didn't type crankshaft. Camshaft. Camshaft V8. Oh, it's the V8OHV. My bad. Where is it? There we go. That's okay. We have them for another day. Oh, I would love to do a rat rod. Now you're 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 just that's just yeah. Uh, I haven't been able to find one. So yeah, and as Greg says, there it doesn't look like uh, that they're available yet. Um, that is not staying on there. Off you go. You are not a hundred percent. Need a timing chain. Let's buy just a few of these extra. Perfect. Ah, oh, man. That would be fantastic to do a rad rod. How cool would that be? Uh, but there is that, that tow truck. Um, 
I wouldn't mind checking it out. That might be kind of cool. I need uh, more timing components. Yeah, let's grab a couple of those. That's pretty good. And I think uh, we should be good for everything else. I think I have. I, think I bought extra serpentine belts when we were in there. and Should have everything, but, you know, take it as we go. Let's throw that in while I'm staring at it. Because I know I've got those. Put a water pump on. Awesome. And our pulleys. Dang it. Okay. We need a crankshaft pulley. Right there. It's expensive. Yeah, the tow truck mod looked like a whole lot of fun. Um, I, you know, I saw it when I was looking on there today, and I did pick it up, but I haven't been to the junkyard yet to actually go and grab it. So, might not be a bad idea going and taking a peek uh, in between all this. Um, I need a new fan, radiator fan, radiator fan, V8 OHV, yes sir, buy an extra one, very nice, might as well put her all together before we uh, jump into her, and oh hey look at that, hey look there's clips. <laughs> Let it be known that Beard did not miss the clips for once. <laughs> All right. Uh, pistons on this side, and then we're going to flip her. Got to get all of our caps on, all of our bearing caps. And... Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. That, that's right. There it is. It was light. The light was in my eyes. All right. Engine heads. Very nice. I feel like I should be securing my pistons before doing all this, but it's here. And I'm here. <laughs> oh, I didn't look. Please tell me. Yes, yes. I'm not through them yet, but I am going to have to buy some. Because now... I don't have any brand new ones. Okay, so we'll get our rockers on here. Let's get in a little closer so it doesn't move me each and every time. Because, you know, motion sickness. <laughs> of course, nothing beats motion sickness like playing Subnautica on the VR. Holy. Oh, man. I'm telling you. It was, uh, it was, it was bad. <laughs> Uh, a great game for those of you that like the survival genre. Um, Subnautica is probably one you may have tried if that's something that uh, floats your boat, no pun intended. But it, uh, with VR on, uh, it's the only game so far that has given me the, the motion sickness. Uh, it's to a point where, like, headset off, get some big breaths, take a big swig of some type of fluid normally up here. But it just, yeah, whoa. Oh. Bad. I can do VR in just about uh, any any VR game I've played so far. Uh, that one just really did me in. So I, I, It makes me understand why they've had some issues with, with bringing certain games to VR. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, let's get this piston in. Get these all down. Come on, baby. Get those in. But now VR racing. <laughs> is something else. You know, you know what, Greg? I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. I like the glare. I, I've thought about removing it, uh, and I've played with it. Uh, I just, if you if you change your camera angle, it gets rid of it. The thing is, it, it makes it look shinier, and I like shiny things. <laughs> I do. I like the bling. Okay, let's buy some valve push rods. But, however, having said that, if it is hard uh, as a viewer to watch, I will certainly uh, turn that off. So, if, if it gets on your guys' nerves, please do let me know, uh, and, and I will certainly turn that off. Okay, we got our push rods. There we go. 
I'm almost there. Those of you that know me really well know that this is my least favorite part. I hate valve push rods. They give you all kinds of static in real life. They never come out easy. Okay, here we go. Let's just zone in here a little closer. There we are. Very nice. Yep, valve push rods and rockers I could do without. I should bring that other mechanic back and let him do it. <laughs> He's gone. I fired him. He's terrible. He's terrible. Okay. We're almost through this. And break. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Callie. Yes. I know you like pretty things. <laughs> All right. And we are rocking. We're almost there. We gotta put it there. We still. I'm about to put on. I can't. I just can't do this. I just can't do this. It just seems so wrong. I can't go any further. I cannot go any further until I button this up because it's driving me absolutely nuts. It really is. I have to be honest. Okay. Here we go. That's better. Already it feels. Feels more like like the real thing, you know. I'm putting the whole top top end of the engine together, and I haven't even secured my pistons. Like, yeah, I'd get slapped. I'd get slapped if I ever did that in the real world. Because you know you'd forget about it. Okay, crank it over, and it dumps its guts. <laughs> Could you imagine? All right. That is looking fantastic. You think this would get old? Honestly, you think it would get old every time we put it together? I think I say the same thing. That looks great. I, that looks fantastic. Oh, look at that! But it really does. Look at that. Okay, we're covering her up. You don't get to look at it anymore. And I need a new oil pan. I'm getting better at catching my stuff, though. Okay, oil pan V eight O H V two, please. Look at the V8. Look at the depth on the V8 oil pan compared to the OHVs. And there we go. She is buttoned. We'll throw the exhaust manifold on, and I'm a lot of exhaust manis. Exhaust manifold. Where are you, my friend? Right there. We're going to grab a bunch as I go through these. A bunch. Uh, you might not have noticed, but I did get a little bit of grinding in. I went from 35 up to 36, got uh, a little bit into the level. It was also, uh, you know, you don't really make much money doing that, but you make some. I mean, it all counts. It all adds up. Did the grind. Got her going. I'm hell-bent. I want to get, uh, I will finish my grind one of these days. I absolutely will. Okay, I refuse to put the distributor cap on from this angle. I'm sorry, I know it's taking more time, but I just can't do it. <laughs> I just cannot do it. All right, let's twist her around here. And she is about done here. We're in the final stretch. Wires are on. Carburetor four barrel. Oh, come on. I can repair those. Might take me a while to get to them. I kind of feel like I should. Well, that's okay. Let's just buy one, because I will use them again later. Carburetor four barrel. Let's buy a few. There she be. There is no sound like a four barrel. Just whining out. All right. Oh, I don't have a, uh, an air filter cover. Round air filter cover. That's the base. There's the cover. That nice old shiny cover. Oh. He was gone, hey? Okay, so hopefully, uh, I don't know how long I was out for. YouTube. Your streams are atrocious. 
Okay, but we are rolling again. It shows that I have continued. Stream Health is live. And we should be good any time now. I'm going to step away from the motor for one second here. Uh, see what's happening. There we go. And we are up. Greg, I couldn't agree more. Uh, Twitch is just that much more solid. I'm really hoping that, you know, YouTube is always, um, they're always tweaking and they're always adding and they're always making it just that little bit better of an experience. And, you know, it's been the thing to do. A lot of, a lot of people, a lot of good content creators are using YouTube. But... Man, that's that's the last two streams we've had that's gone and cut out. So I'll watch a little quicker. I want to thank you guys for right away hitting me up on Steam. I was not aware. I, I really wasn't. I was um, I was in a completely different world. Completely different world. So let's see here. Why is this? It's funny that that's not... My stream now is not caught up for some reason it doesn't look like it's working um, if you give me a second here just to get myself sorted a wee bit more okay and everybody's back because uh, my stream is not showing it it's, it's only showing uh, yeah that's no good all right well it does say live everything looks good we're gonna carry on all right, so we're done with the motor here now. I've got my clips on. I've got everything in. Everything's good. There's nothing left to go. We'll take one more look around. One more good look. Hit that mute to cough and made sure I unmuted. And here we are. All right. We're going to go ahead and drop this bad boy in. Whoa, what happened there? That was, that was funky. Let's pull this. Take it out of the crate. Install the motor, in she goes, and I, I'm stuck. There we go. I have to be honest. I really like that yellow. I, I, I really do. It, it kind of suits the car too. Okay. So, uh, do -do -do -do. we've got. The, I put the manifolds on. So really, the only things I need to add in here is a brake servo, the radiator C. Uh, there's no fan to go with it because the fan is off there. Everything else. The batteries are in the back. Okay. We'll get underneath this bad boy. As I see, everybody is making their way back in. Uh, I do apologize, guys. I'll take a moment to stop and say that um, I'm doing my best here with the YouTube live stream. And uh, for the most part, it's good. But every now and then, that does happen. But if you are joining us and you're welcome back to the stream... Uh, if you haven't hit that like button, I would appreciate it if you could get that like train going. It makes us more visible, brings in more traffic. And of course, if you haven't, uh, please hit that subscribe button. We're always welcoming new and exciting new subscribers. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Uh, and we do some, we do do live streams on Tuesdays and Thursdays at five o'clock standard time. Now, I'm probably going to have some impromptu streams popping up over the course of the next week. We'll see how it all goes. Uh, I've gotten in pretty deep with Project Cars 2. And uh, I do plan on picking up F1 2017. And so between the two of those, I might do a couple streams. I'd like to see how it goes at any rate and see what everybody thinks. Ultimately, uh, you know, my subscriber base is what I like to look to and see if, if they're happy with my choice of games. Uh, because really, that's, uh, that's why I do it. It's all you guys. We always pick up new subscribers any game we go to, but you don't want to lose your old subscribers. You don't want to lose some just to gain new ones. You know, I'd rather keep the ones I have and remain a small channel and get to know people um, than uh, simply to move along, get big, and become impersonable. Because I can't imagine once you have a couple million subscribers that you know all, the, all too many of them that well. And uh, really, it's just uh, an excuse, a reason to hang out with people. <laughs> All right. Pushings are out. 
tires are coming off. And big old white walls. You know we have to put white walls back on this. Like it, it has to be white walls. It has to be white walls. There's just no two ways about it. It wouldn't look right otherwise. Oh, you got... Oh, there you go. F1 2017 from Steven as well. Well, so there we go. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sold. Greg and I were talking about it earlier, and I was right into it. I was right into picking it up, uh, but I was still kind of on the fence. I got to admit, there was part of me that was like, well, you know, and I own all these other ones that have Formula Racing in it, but then uh, Greg said some pretty good things about it, so it kind of talked me into it. I, the little bit of teetering that I was doing on the fence, Greg helped me out with, so... And now to hear you say you liked it too, Stephen. Well, I think as soon as I'm done here, we're going to go pick it up. Well, I won't, not right away, because I have a very good friend. He just picked up Project Cars 2, and uh, he went and bought a wheel so he can be on the same level, and he's there running it right now. And uh, he's a good friend, and I, yeah, so I'm probably going to go jump on that afterwards. Um, there we go. That just seemed to go way too easy and quick. Fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Okay, let's get this put back together. Come on now. Enough chatter and beard. Keep working, man. You're on the clock. There we go. It's a good thing I get uh, paid per job, not per hour. <laughs> oh, well. My parts guy's been up on things here. We're looking pretty good so far. suspension arm on. We're going to do things like I would actually do it rather than just all willy-nilly. Some great streamers out there that I like to watch that uh, aren't doing this game as much anymore, which is unfortunate. But uh, they just do whatever part's closest to them and it drives me nuts. It drives me nuts. Although I haven't exactly done everything true to form, but close to it. Close to it. I like that realism. You know? All right, we're looking good here. I'm going to just throw the bearing and stuff in right now so I don't forget about it later. There we go. And now I'll throw on all the brakes, the caliper, everything brand new. Every, everything brand new. And voila. That's one side completely done. Well, except for the... Uh, the double wishbone shock comes over. And I think, you know, I'm probably, because I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Did I miss? Go back. Go back. I did. I did, I did. The sway bar front end needed to be hooked up. Uh, and I guess I can put in, let's see, where is, come off the back, because I don't have my steering rack in. That's why I don't have my tie rods. Oh, don't no, get that out of there. Sneaky. Look at that at 90% trying to sneak in there. Man, I'm telling you. Okay. Grab a bunch of these here. By the way, I guess I don't go through them as often anymore. Back when I was XP and in the beginning, I was just doing any and every job. And that was I mistaken. Don't do that. That takes forever. Okay, and part mount. That's better. Okay, now I feel better about things. Moving across now. Zing, zing. Get our tie rod out. Beautiful. Of course, the lovely suspension arms. Oh, get the top one. There we go. All right. Don't forget the bushings, beard. Don't forget the bushings. Would be a crime. And the sway bar. All right. Now we're looking good. This front end is almost complete. And there we go. Oh, I forgot the K. 
cap. Here we go. And the pads caliper, and on to the. Well, we'll get the exhaust on the way back. Awesome. Okay. And now, are these bad boys. Are they sitting? That's it. She's just coming out here. All right. All right. I dig it. I dig it. There's no room to make it come out the sides because it's a low rider. Um, and you, yeah, mm. and to recess it up and underneath just to make it come out the back when they when they drop them this far is it's not recommended. I have had many friends that own low riders. I myself have never owned a low rider. Uh, my Mustang has a rake on it, but that doesn't really count. Front end's dropped an inch and a half. And, uh, and a big, big oversized tire on the back. <laughs> I'm going to have to take a picture one of these days and uh, put it up in the stream here. That's a car I would like to work on here. If there's any more developers watching the stream or the restream, uh, please make me a 19, a, a mid-80s, any mid-80s Ford Mustang. Uh, I prefer the LX Fastback, Fox Body. It's uh, that would be nice. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, uh oh. Well, we can let that go. We can let that go. The whole thing's lowered, uh, you know, to get the angle of the dangle. It just is what it is. That's fine. That's fine. We're not going to get stuck on it. Uh, I would like to say that he has done some fantastic work on these mods. I'm quite happy with them. Having a good time. Must be. I'm doing the same one over again. What's going on? <laughs> but, you know, low rider. It's it's hard not to do it. And I had to do the supercharged. I just had to. I, was, I didn't have a choice in the matter. It was taken out of my hands. There's a Mustang SVT, yes, but it's a uh, 94. Four, I believe, or a '96, and you know it's the only era of Mustang that I do not like. I, I just, I can't, I can't stand them. The rounded front end. Um, there's just something about them, and you know they're nice cars. Don't get me wrong. I've, I've had friends that that you know have owned them. In fact, I had a buddy who had an SVT. It was beautiful, it was black on black, and you know it was all tinted. And, Lights were all blacked out. It was bloody gorgeous, but uh, I just that that particular model. It's my least favorite. Nothing wrong with it though. Not knocking it because it's still a Mustang. Mustangs are uh, cheap horsey, cheap cheap horsey. They've been around for a while. They've worked all their kinks out. They're solid cars, you know. But it's like anything. You got your Mustang fans. You're, you got your Camaro fans. Uh, I happen to be a fan of both. You know, so you call me a traitor. <laughs> all right, there we go. We got her going now. We're almost through it. Get rid of them shoes and them cylinders and then the axle. Gone, gone, gone. <laughs> you guys just doing that to see your name come up in the stream, aren't you? In the bottom corner there. <laughs> Uh, I get a kick out of it. I don't turn my notifications off, though. Um, I'm actually... Well, wait a minute. Hold on. What did I do here? Uh, oh, the drive shaft. What am I thinking? Why did I... Why did I put the drive shaft on when I knew I was going to have to do the rear end? That I was not thinking. All right. Let's get rid of that. And the fuel tank, we can reach from here. Okay, let's put it back together. I do. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, let's scooch up there. So it's a little more into the zone. Rear shock absorbers. I've got to pick some of them bad boys up. Ooh, I'm a fan of the Dodge Hellcat. I like the Dodge Hellcat an awful lot. Um, the Demon's quite nice, you know. I mean, it's more a personal preference at that point. Um, I'm going to buy a couple of these caps. I don't remember if I ran out. But uh, the Dodge Hellcat. Um, I never got to drive it. And I wish I could say that I did. Uh, but, I, you know, about a year ago, I guess it was now. Might have been a little longer. I was looking to sell my, uh, my dually. Um, and my work truck all at the same time. I was going to sell both of them. Because, uh, you know, my work truck gets an 01 
Chevy Silverado. Uh, my Dooley's an 07, but it's a, it's a, you know, it's a Dooley. It's a GMC Sierra. It's a full load. It's a nice truck. I like it a lot. It's, you know, I'm not, it wasn't that I was unhappy with it, but I wanted a new truck. I wanted something. I figured I'd trade the two in because I don't need two. I don't really, you know, having a work truck and having your own truck it just seems silly. So, um, I thought to myself, well, I'll trade it in and I'll, I'll, you know, get one. And, you just go from there. And I went to do it, and while I walk up, and there's a Dodge Hellcat sitting right there. Uh, and I, I was like, you got to be kidding me. It was a Dodge dealership, but they had a couple uh, a couple of nice, real nice Chevs for sale. And I'm, I'm, I'm definitely a Chev now when it comes to trucks. And so I jumped into the Hellcat, and I got to start it. <laughs> and I even said to the guy, I'm like, oh, can I, uh, can I take this for a ride? He says, well, actually, it's... Uh, it's more for show, unless you're serious about buying it. And they wanted uh, a deposit to drive it. I think you got to be kidding me. I was a little bit insulted. <laughs> but it was gorgeous. Oh, my God, man. And when I started that thing up, the sound it made was like no other. Definitely a fan. But I would have been happier if I had got to drive it. You can't blame me for trying. Yeah, the Demon's a little more expensive. I mean, hey, if you're not talking money here... You know, but, uh, well, Jesus, even the Hellcat, oh, I think it was, uh, now, granted, I'm in Canada, guys, so, you know, a little bit of an exchange, if you're in America, the exchange rate's a little bit out, you know, our, our dollar isn't worth quite as much, um, but I'm pretty sure that, that Hellcat was, like, 80, 90 grand, I mean, it was, uh, it was a pretty penny, the, the demon you're not gonna get into for, oh, that's gotta be at least, at least a buck ten, buck twenty, I mean, I mind you, I'm not. Don't don't quote me on that. I haven't looked up my pricing, but um, I know they're uh, they're a lot lot more expensive. Special order and everything. Those bad boys. Did I get the bushing back there? I did. I got that bushing. Not that bushing. Coop, coop. Okay. Just making sure. Don't want to miss nothing. I don't want to upset the quality control department. They signed my checks. All right. Let's get this all on. And uh, we're going to blast through this real quick here now and get to uh, get, the, oh, get the tires and everything all on. See, I was thinking tires. I really was. I have to do the brakes still, I think, on the other side. I don't think I got that far. Here, let's just stick our head into the motor because we can. All right. So let's go over here. Oh, I can't forget the batteries. That's right. The batteries. Ha. Ah. Up we go from the engine bay for those bad boys. And that's everything. There she is. Let's drop her down. Get the body parts and everything going on her here. But I want to get the batteries. Oh, I'm going to have to uh, do it like this. Okay. There we go. Did it. But I am at the engine bay. But I am. Okay, so I gotta get in from here, do I? And scooch back that way? Is that what's happening? You're being difficult. Okay. Why? There. I guess I could have tried that in the first place. I haven't come across that yet in this game, so that was a little bit different to uh, get things on there. So I got all my, my plates on there. <laughs> you don't want to miss nothing, man. No, the Hellcat was, uh, it was black, and it had a red trim all through the interior. You should have seen it. It was sexy. It was something else. Okay, so now, um, will it actually say Lowrider? I don't think it will. It'll just be SS409. Let's go, jump into, no, wrong one. I hit the wrong one, here we go, let's go into here. Okay, so, um, oops. I wonder, is it, would it say low rider? No, it wouldn't say low rider. Okay, well that's fine. Impala, that says 409. So, are those parts all universal? SS409, street rod, street rod. That's all street rod. So, it looks like everything up here. Okay. 
Let's buy some goodies. And yes, I know. <laughs> Greg, you don't have to say it. I need to make money. Uh, I'm just going to look and make sure I'm not accidentally buying the wrong ones as we go through here. Try and keep one ahead. Yes. Oh, there's a blank. Oh, that's all right. We're not going to question it. Rear tail light, boom boom, rear bumpers, left door window, right window, rear window, okay, the headlights and the tail lights, trunk tail light, the trunk, uh, and now we're into the street edition, so I should have everything here. Let's go ahead and put this all together and see how she looks. Okay, no graphics for these ones, but it's not a real big deal. It doesn't really, uh, you know, it doesn't take away from too much. I'm sure he'll he'll update that and, and put her in when he gets a chance. Front window, front hood. Slowly but surely. Let's get the, the uh, where's the plate? No plate on the front, only the back. Okay, you can go away now, because you're in my way. There we go. Um, I know this had a plate. Because we looked at it, or at least the back one did. Maybe it was just the back. Okay, front window's in, and the back left door window, and I think... Uh, oh, I didn't put the bumper and stuff in. Light and trunk lights. That just that's a classic look that just never gets old. And all separated like that, you know, I'd love to see that brought back. So uh, you know, again, that doesn't look half bad. Come down. Oh, I didn't want to <clears throat> you can hear my voice going a little bit here. That's interesting. There we be. She looks good. She looks good. Let's get some tires, boys and girls. Yeah, one plate only for the back, I guess, right? Okay. So we need to go and start with the rims. Now, definitely need spokes on this. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead, guys, and really push this. And I hope you're all cool with it. But um, I really like on the front the this little kind of, I don't even know what you call this little wing nut style looking thing. I think it looks great. Oh, it's, yeah, but the spokes really look good too. So you don't get that with the spokes. Is there any other, uh, I don't think there's any other spokes, is there? No, that's too modern. Nope, that's it. Oh, I will get that. A WWE and Gameplay fan. How's it going? Welcome back. We missed you on our last stream. Uh, you're just catching us at the end. We've actually, um, here, I'll jump out of here real quick and just give you a real quick on what we did today. Look at that bad boy. Look at that bad boy right there. Yes, sir. It's an Impala day. So we did the street rod, and now we're doing the low rider. Uh, we're just about to hit the tires. And uh, while we're at it, because I have missed it, quality control caught me. Much appreciated. And there we go. That's it. That's it. Okay, so back to the tires, guys. Let's jump into this here. We want to get uh, what, what sort of rims? I mean, I think it's got to be these right here. Maybe, mm, yeah, or these, or these. I think it's got to be the spoke, though. I, uh, the rim repro 12, he did, hey? Okay, well, well, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. So now these are going to be the same all the way around because it is a low rider. Uh, but we want some big tires on here. Like, like, like maybe some 24s. I think, uh, I think some 24s might have to be it, guys. Big tires. It's a low rider. You got to do this with like all kinds of style. So uh, we're doing it. We're doing it. That's that's what's happening. Oh yes, white walls. Absolutely. Uh, it's probably going to have to be. From looking at them, I think the vintage white wall is going to give us a little more. Than the wall C, the B than the C. It shouldn't be though. The C should be more. No, the B has it right on the on the interior lip. So we're gonna go with the B's. Uh, yeah, you guys are all right there with me. 24s. Right on. <laughs> we're 
we're all thinking alike. Great minds think alike. Okay, so we want four of these. They're all 24s. Um, and, you know, I, I'm not too fussed on the width. We'll give them a little bit. Uh, not much. 265s actually sound pretty damn good. White wall bees. Hey, hey, see that? I'm 15 seconds ahead of you. And I knew that's what you guys were going to say. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's put her together. Right on. Okay. White walls, baby. It looks good on the low rider. The old low rider is the only way to go. We couldn't do anything else. Come on. It's got to be that way. And the paint. Well, you know. Well, we're going to have to see when we get in there. Not too sure what I'm looking for yet. Oh, no, 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 no. I probably should have went. Well, you know what? That actually will look good. That will look good. Uh, I'm almost thinking I maybe should have done a little bit larger profile, but, you know, you don't see low riders with big profiles. They're always low pros. Always. Because you're trying to get her down nice and low, so. But it's got the white walls. It, it does look, yeah, but a profile 40, I mean, that's a little bigger where we're at, right? Let's see what this looks like anyways. Let's put these on one side and see what we think then. I'll wait to put the other ones together. We'll get the one side going anyways. Because, you know, we did. I did keep the profile at, at stock. So, let's do that. And see what we think here. Because I don't know that there's... Like, you gotta tell me that that doesn't look slick. Hey, <laughs> holy. That is. Go, oh, that looks. Okay. You guys tell me. I'm gonna put this other one on here, because it's all balanced. You guys tell me what you think for this side. Alright, we're gonna put all these on here. Okay. Now, you tell me that doesn't look good. Should I up the profile? Should I make it a little bit fatter? I could, uh, but I kind of think that that kind of says it all right there. I, I think that's slick. That's, yep, that's look right on. Okay. Greg's in agreement. Is everybody else good? Because, whoop, whoops, 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 whoops. Because I really, really like it. I gotta be honest. That looks fantastic. All right. WWE fan, what do you think, my man? You just joined us late here, but uh, what do you think of those tires? Do those tickle your feather? Are they? Are they? Are, does it? Does it do it for you? Because that that does it for me. I, I think that looks fantastic. Um, we like to uh, we like everyone to be as involved as possible here. We like people to have a say in what's happening. It's just because I'm pulling the controls here doesn't mean that I'm the one making the final decision. Uh, it's something that we like to do here on our streams. It makes it a little more enjoyable. Not your luck, hey? What would you have gone with? What would you have gone with? Now, keep in mind that it is an old Impala. What would you, what call would you have done? Oh, 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 oh golly. I really like the way you think, but uh, it is a low rider. It's, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of got to keep it. You know, I probably could have went a little fatter. I probably could have. You're right. You're right. You really could. Um, typically, though, in low riders, they're all kind of somewhat the same, you know. Um, yeah, I forgot to balance one, didn't I? I did. I, I certainly did. I caught that. <laughs> Ultra, I don't think we're going pink on this one, bud. We did the McLaren pink, which, by the way, I think looks pretty damn good. And, and, and especially when it's sitting in the paint shop with the light on it. Much like this, when that's in the paint shop, it looks absolutely fantastic. But uh, this is going to, it is going to be something bright though. I kind of like the yellow. I, I it, it really has a nice look on it. But what I might do, I just heard Mrs. Beard walk by. I might uh, see if I can get her out here. Which, no, 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 she ran. <laughs> she wants nothing to do with my live stream. Okay, we're going to move this here. Get her into the paint shop. Oh, before I do, I almost forgot. I need to put some oil in her. <laughs> Come 
great. You're not a fan of pink, hey, buds? That's all right. You know, it's not for everybody. Um, I do think it looked really good on that McLaren, though. i got to be honest. Okay, let's get her in the paint shop. Let's get a good look at this and see what we think here. Oh, oh, oh man. This is going to look good. Hey, let me close the door. Let me close the door. Don't overspray the uh, customer's cards out there. Okay, so uh, we're not going to use that template. We are going to use a chameleon paint on this one, and it needs to be bright. It does need to be bright. Some kind of bright. I, I, I quite like that. That looks good. What does that look like with pearl? Oh, wow. Look how that changed with pearl. Kind of interesting, the... Uh, colors you can get going something bright like a nice bright yeah I really like that yellow I gotta be honest like that looks that looks pretty sharp right there I will you know what ultra I will show them the McLaren we're gonna go at the end when we get all the cars in so we can kind of drool over the garage for a moment um, it has to be bright guys this just has to be bright I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Bright yellow or orange? Well, look at that right there. Take a look at that. Because I don't know about you guys, but I think that looks pretty fantastic. And we'll take a look at it. Now, I'm not saying that's the color we're going with. I'm going to give you guys the call. But I think that this is... Uh, oh, I need to... Uh... Nope, I got room. Let's see. Let's see. Tell me what do you think, guys? What do you think? What do you think of that? That's pretty. Wow, that is pretty. Yeah, man. This thing needs a system in the back. You remember we did that uh, 32 Ford and had the two 12-inch subs? It should have this, man. That's what should be in the back right here. Um, that's that's pretty. I, I I like this, guys. I don't know about y'all. So, you know, I mean, I, if anyone... Uh, yeah, it does look pretty nice, doesn't it? I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. But now, if there's anyone's got anything you want to throw to the table, we can always try other colors. Although, I am getting low on funds. Holy crap, I'm down to 14K. All right. Well, I think we're going to go with that then, guys. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Now you throw something like, I don't know, how can I not? Uh, oh, WWEs, I am so sorry to hear that, my friend. Uh, I lost my grandmother to uh, to cancer as well. And uh, I've lost a number of family members, including my father and my m mother and father-in-law. And uh, that's... Uh, I got real deep all of a sudden right there for me. That uh, kind of hit a nerve. I gotta be honest. That's um, jeez. Well, I'm gonna say uh, I do need to do the interior. Um, I'm not gonna say that I wouldn't paint it uh, a, a pink, although I do already have a pink car. I'm not a big fan of, of multiple pink cars. However, I'm gonna leave this one up to WWE. Whatever you would like to see on this car, my friend. If this color. It's good for you, by all means, but if there is something you would rather see, uh, I'm going to wait the 15-second uh, delay that I have here, and I would love to hear what you would like to say. Because you haven't had any say in any of the vehicles yet, for that matter, as well. Um, but I, I figured that, uh, you know, in, in light of, of uh, what Ultra has, has, has brought to light, I should say, uh, it, it, it would only be fitting uh, that we dedicate this car to your grandma. So what do you think, my man? I'm going to hang tight a minute here because, uh, we, as I say, we do have this 15-second uh, overlap or delay, I should say, um, which I really should put down. But, again, it's it's all for the other people to uh, to watch this. Did we lose him? Is he gone? I'm thinking that we might have lost him. I've, I see the, the numbers have dropped by there. He is. Absolutely, my friend. If, if Yes, we will do it. Let's find ourselves... Is that now you're gonna have to help me here is that 
that's a pink there yes that it almost looks purple can we get that more like a nice vibrant what if we do that in chameleon will that give us a better a better tone that looks pretty good I, uh, I want to make sure I'm getting pink, not purple. Let's see. There we go. Absolutely, my friend. Uh, this one's for your grandma. If there's any way that you are able to uh, let her replay and, and check this out, uh, I hope that that, that uh, puts a smile on her face right there because uh, that does look good. That does look good. And uh, this is for WWE's grandma, everybody, right there. That's fantastic. Let's move this over. And we got to do it right now. We got to get it all polished up. And uh, then we're going to take it for a victory lap. So let's go ahead over here and hit the detail kit and move it over to the shop and get her all nice and clean. And then uh, we're going to go for a nice ride for your grandma here, my friend. We're going to see what this car is all about. There she is. Pretty in pink. Well, let's get the interior sorted here now. And uh, we know that we are going to put... I, you know, I don't know that the chain wheel is going to go with this car. I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of guessing that now. So let's bump out here. And let's go into the interiors. And let's see... Let's let's get now. That's real bright. So I think we need we need black seats for this one because it is a very bright color. I think the black will really bring it together. Uh, and, and I'm kind of thinking that we want to do like something like this is kind of what I'm thinking, or or even something a little bit of like this here. Here we go. That's it right there. The cape. What do you think, guys? I I think it's the cape. I think we're going with that right there, and we're going to go with, uh, now if we look here, let's see, there's a front, you know, is it the cape that, uh, there we go, yep, attaboy Greg, oh, it's the only one that fits, okay, well, I'm thinking that the cape is actually uh, what we're looking for, something like this, so we're going to do that, and let's not do that because I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Go to normal mode. Go to interior. Disassemble. Assemble. And there we go. Um, the cape does not fit. Um, interesting. Okay, well, He's put it looks well. I mean, it is what it is, and we'll have to. Uh, hmm. Well, well, that's all we can do, guys. We're gonna have to uh, find some regular. Uh, yeah, it just is what it is. Okay, let's go to all. So now we got black seats in the back, which I think we needed anyways. But I was really hoping for a bench seat up front. Uh, that's a little bit disappointing. And these are all for the back, so we're just going to have to go with individuals. That's what it's showing us. And it's going to have to be that old style. Probably that right there. Or something like that along those lines. Here we go. Here, the Atlanta, perhaps, or the Charger. Or the Typhoon. Ooh, 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 ooh. Typhoon or Atlanta, I think. Uh... go with here oh it's absolutely my pleasure WWE absolutely my pleasure uh, and I think guys we're gonna go I, I, I kind of want it to be that real low profile seating we're gonna go with these typhoon buckets right here it is my pleasure and uh, I I feel your plight my friend I really do it's never an easy thing dealing with it dealing with that terrible terrible disease and there she be my friends nice low seats in there that looks great oh yeah 
Right on. Let's do it. Let's do it. I wonder if my wheel will work with this. We're going to take the car to the airport, I think. I could go to the racetrack. It's kind of, the airport's the most fun, if you ask me. What do we want to take? Well, we want to take our lowrider. I have a front shock absorber cap missing from the car. <clears throat> quality control. Quality control. We need quality control. Okay, let me move this bad boy. <laughs> With the door wide open. That's great. Front shock cap. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I never did. I'm a terrible person. Look what I did. <laughs> well, you know, it wouldn't be a bearded build if I didn't leave something off. Seems to be the way of it. Um, oh, a front shock absorber cap. Okay, I don't have any of them, so let's just go in here real quick and grab ourselves one of those bad boys. Front shock. And really, you're going to disappear. Oh, don't do it. There we go. Thought it was going to disappear. Okay, let's buy a handful of these. I'll buy a handful of any 12. There we go. Do it now, baby. Come on, get it going, get it going. Get it going. There it is. Put that together. I know, no shocks at all. Like, how did I even move it into the paint booth? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I'm surprised they let me. Okay, well, it is what it is. That's a new one. And for Thursday's build, I will somehow magically manage to leave out the engine. That's right. And we won't know until we get to the racetrack. That's, I can't believe I did that. Okay, let's go ahead, throw this in, pretend that never happened. Um, we'll just say that we want to take a look at the underbelly again, because, you know, stuff. All right. Awesome. Now, if it tells me anything else. Okay. Bring her on down. Let's move it over here now. <laughs> now, if it lets me go, then we're good. And low rider. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to see. I don't know if it will. Uh, maybe I need to change my settings. But uh, my wheel might work with this. My wheel doesn't work with this. How about my controller? Bad, my controller's not set up. Okay, we're doing the old mouse and keyboard. Uh, and uh, there is a way. Is it C? Oh, okay. smoke show here. Oh, wow. Oh, we can smoke this one right up. Keep going. Oh, you can't. Donut. Nope, no donuts. So we just got to keep it spinning. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, as the smoke clears. Ha, ha, ha. Not too thrilled about the tires coming through the fenders, uh, but this has been a very good mod. It really has. I've really enjoyed this one. And there we be, guys. So what else can we do here? Can we get a big rip around and see how we can go? Let's see how she handles at high speeds. That's awesome. Well, 
That's pretty fantastic, guys. There we go. WWE, I hope you have a chance to uh, show your grandma what we've done for her, this wonderful car. She will most certainly know what an Impala is, and I would venture that uh, some of her friends certainly drove these at one point or another. I know that uh, my grandfather always wanted to import an Impala. Well, he lived in Ireland, and all their cars there could fit in the trunk of this bloody Impala, let me tell you right now. But uh, this one's for her, my friend. We're going to run this back right now, return to the garage. And before we go, we will take out the drag car. I want to see how much pep this thing has. I want to see if I pedal down what this thing's going to do. Is it really going to give her? You got to go WWE. Okay, my friend, thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you again soon every Tuesday and Thursday at 5 o'clock, my man. If we can get back here, and we're going to jump into this. And let's do the same. Look at, just look at that. That is sick. All right. Oh, wait, hey, that one was flawless. We didn't miss a thing there. Very nice. Ultra, that would be a very nice thing for you to do, my friend. Yes, you absolutely should. I'm going to make sure the stream is with me. Yes, it is. Wow, I'm that far ahead of you guys. Now, that is something else. Look at that. <laughs> First off, we need to give ourselves some room here. I don't think the tires actually heat up with this. That is insane. Look at that. But I don't want to get the tires hot because I want them to spin. I don't think they're going to spin for very long. to see you guys I wanted to see how we can go Thank you guys for joining me. This was more of a marathon than I normally do. I normally do about an hour just to keep it uh, keep it real and always keep everybody wanting to come back for more. But wow, man, we're uh, what are we at? About two hours, two and change. Our hour is eighteen minutes and twelve seconds, and I have had the time of my life here today, guys. That was absolutely fantastic. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I want to thank everybody for joining me. Uh, if you have hit that like button, I want to thank you twice as much. <laughs> And of course, anybody who's watching this later down the road, please do me a favor, smash that like button, comment, and subscribe. It helps out my channel more than you could know. Uh, we are a young and growing channel. Just hit 100 subscribers. Yes, sir. I want to thank everybody once again. We are here every Tuesday and Thursday at 5 p.m. Right now, we are strictly doing live streams for Car Mechanic Simulator. Uh, I'm going to try and throw something into the mix with some Project Cars 2 and maybe some F1 2017. But until next time, guys, thank you so much, each and every one of you, for joining me. You guys rock. And we'll see you guys on Thursday. Keep your eyes open. You might find something in between there. Uh, probably around the same time, do a little impromptu streams. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Beard out.